Hello there, Leo listeners. Cara here from leolistening.com, where I bring together adventurous expats and intrepid travellers to watch and discuss movies in English so that they can understand native speakers themselves and the world around them a bit better. So, if you're looking for the best advanced English podcasts to improve your listening, then you're in the right place. And if you have an advanced level and you're looking for podcasts, you're in luck because at advanced level, you can listen to any podcast. You can just go into a podcast app, type in what you're interested in and look for podcasts. At the same time, I know that it's scary when you're suddenly faced with millions of options and you don't know which one to choose and you're panicking about picking the wrong one. I just want to say don't worry because there is no wrong one and the right one is whichever one is right for you, for your needs, for your level and what you're interested in. But to help make life a little bit easier for you and so you can get started, I've put together this list of the 11 best podcasts for advanced English learners, 11 with a few extra ones. So you'll find investigative journalism podcasts, interview podcasts, comedy and more. And a big shout out to Leo listener Sergey, who helped me put this list together. He listens to a lot of podcasts, so I asked him to give me some suggestions. So thank you, Sergey. And juicy bonus, because here we love watching movies and TV shows. Some of these podcasts have been made into TV series, so keep watching to find out which ones those are. And as you're here and you're still watching, why not give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, do all those YouTube things that you are supposed to do. Okay, so let's kick off then. In no particular order, I'm starting with the investigative journalism podcasts. So number one is The Shrink Next Door. So I came across this podcast because I was looking for an investigative journalism podcast that was not true crime. So there's a lot of, if you like documentaries and things like this, there's a lot of true crime podcasts and I wanted something a bit different. And I found The Shrink Next Door and I listened to the whole thing in a day because it was very compelling. And that's what's good about this type of podcast is you want to keep coming back to find out what happens next. So this podcast is the story of Ike and Marty. Ike was Marty's shrink, which is an informal word for psychiatrist. But the relationship between them is rather odd, and Ike gradually exerts more and more control over Marty's life. It's quite unbelievable, but this is actually a true story. It's not fiction, it's a true story. And in fact, it's been turned into a TV series starring three of my favourite actors, Catherine Han. Paul Rudd and Will Ferrell. Right, podcast number two, this is another documentary style, investigative journalism style podcast that tells of the rise and fall of Elizabeth Holmes, the world's youngest self-made billionaire. So Elizabeth dropped out of college, hence the name The Dropout, and she invented a device to take tiny amounts of blood and run lots of lab tests. And the company was called Theranos. And, well, the product sounded really revolutionary, right? Um, And lots of people poured millions of dollars into the company and everyone was super excited. But it actually turned out that Theranos could not get this device to work properly. It did not work when taking small amounts of blood. And Elizabeth Holmes is actually now awaiting trial for fraud and conspiracy. So this is quite an interesting podcast about how people will believe in something, like they want to believe in it, but it actually turns out that it's, it's not, it's not true. Um, And it shows how, you know, someone charismatic can get people to, to believe in them. So yeah, it's really an, an amazing story. And again, it's true. It's, it's a true story. And Sometimes true life makes for the best stories and The Dropout has also become a TV series, a bit like The Shrink Next Door. Okay, podcast number three is The Dream, one of my favourite, favourite podcasts. And it's described by the website Vulture.com as a vibrant and sustained inquiry into various systems of capitalist exploitation. So that makes it sound really dull, but it's actually not. 
So there have been two seasons, and in season one, Jane Marie, the presenter, she investigates the world of multi-level marketing, or MLMs. So if you've seen friends or family trying to sell things like leggings or essential oils or really expensive but not very good quality makeup on the internet, then this is probably an MLM. So it's more of an American thing, but it's actually quite important to understand the culture because there are some really powerful and big companies that are MLMs. The thing is, um, MLMs are technically pyramid schemes, so uh, not especially um, kind of legal or um, ethical. So people at the top make a lot of money and then people further down, they end up buying all these pairs of not good quality leggings that they then can't sell to people. So very interesting. And then the second season is all about the wellness industry, this very profitable industry that makes all these weird kind of powders and potions and detoxes and juices and vitamins. And so the season explores, you know, why do we have this obsession with wellness, especially as some of these products, we don't really know what's in them. We don't really know if they actually work. So that will help you understand um, the American obsession with vitamins, I think, at the very least. Okay, podcast number four is We Crashed, a very similar story to The Dropout. It's the rise and fall of the startup WeWork. So you can see kind of a pattern emerging emerging here. So WeWork was again founded by a charismatic young person, in this case, Adam Newman, who moved to the US from Israel, dropped out of college, started various businesses. And then um, the one that worked out the best was WeWork. So that was a sort of Well, it started as a co-working space, but then he had this like huge vision about not just not just renting desks, but also elevating the world's consciousness. And, you know, the vision didn't really match up with the actual numbers on the spreadsheets. So we crashed. Um, And one of my favorite things about the podcast is the interview with Professor Scott Galloway, who is hilarious. And We Crashed is also going to become a TV series starring Anne Hathaway and Jared Leto. Can't wait. All right, let's switch gears and talk a bit about interview podcasts. So interview podcasts are great because you get to hear people talking normally, having conversations. So the first one that I have for you, this is number five on the list, is On Being with Krista Tippett. So this is an award-winning podcast and it has been downloaded over 200 million times And presenter Krista Tippett talks to top thinkers, writers, academics about the big questions. So what does it mean to be human? How do we want to live? And who will we be to each other? So there are other shows as well. There's On Being, there's also Living the Questions, where listeners send in their questions and Becoming Wise, which is short clips from the podcast. So that could be nice to listen to if listening to a full interview is too much. And what's amazing about this podcast is that it comes with transcripts. So if you want to understand fast talking native speakers, then you need to have a transcript and you will learn why in various other videos that I have made that I will link to in the description. Okay, next interview podcast is Armchair Expert. So again, great way to listen to unscripted real life conversations in English. So This is a podcast that celebrates the messiness of being human. So the host is Dax Shepard, a comedian. His co-host is Monica Padman, and they talk to celebrities, authors, and academics, and they have real honest conversations with them. And a cool fact is that Dan is married to the actor Kristen Bell, and she's a guest in one of the episodes. So if you like Kristen Bell, then that will be a good podcast to listen to. All right, switching gears once again to business podcasts. So if you are in business yourself and you want to learn some strategies and tips and things like this, then these are the podcasts for you. So number seven, we've got Business Wars. So this is a podcast that takes you behind the scenes of famous business rivalries between some of the world's biggest companies. So you've got episodes on Coke versus Pepsi, Burger King versus McDonald's, Nike versus Adidas, and the season that caught my eye was about Netflix versus Blockbuster as a movie fan. So I think you'll enjoy learning about how these rivalries have shaped, you know, what we buy, what we consume, and the culture, especially 
the American culture. All right, moving on to number eight. Number eight is often featured in lists of best podcasts, etc. It's the Tim Ferriss Show. It's had hundreds of millions of downloads, and you may have heard of Tim Ferriss through his book, The Four Hour Work Week. And in this podcast, he invites, you know, top business people, but also sports people, people in the arts, and he asks them about their tactics and their routines and habits so that you can apply them to your life. And there's a search function on the podcast where you can just type in the name of someone you know and just see if they've, if they've been inter- interviewed. I mean, if they're famous enough, obviously, they probably have been on this podcast. So these are long episodes, but they give you a, a really deep immersion into spoken English. Okay, now we hit the other category. I'm sorry, I put these podcasts in an other category because it wasn't easy to find one for them. So number nine is the Deserter podcast. So if you want to listen to British English while having a laugh, well, normally I would recommend something like Luke's English podcast or the Rock and Roll English podcast with my pal Martin. But here I'm going for something that's actually for native speakers, which is the Deserter podcast which is made by a couple of guys from South London and they actually broadcast from the pubs and you'll hear them just chat to each other like a couple of native speakers at the pub would. So you'll get a real immersion in British life and it's great if you want to listen to British English speakers just chatting to each other. It's not super easy to understand because they do record outside, so there's background noise. But then again, in real life, we often listen in not perfect conditions. We have there's background noise, there are distractions, so it's good practice for real life listening. Okay, number 10, this is one of my favorites, another one of my favorites, the Bitches Get Riches podcast. So Bitches Get Riches in a, is a millennial money advice blog with endless Harry Potter references. And the creators of this blog, Kitty and Piggy, not their real names, now run a podcast. And it's a perfect way to hear two friends chatting informally in English. It's not the easiest one to understand because they make jokes and they have these references to things that you might not have heard of. I haven't heard of everything they talk about, but they are very funny and they will teach you how to manage your money by answering listener questions. So there are episodes on what do I need to know about moving into my first apartment or I've given up on my dream career. What do I do next? And the best news is that the season one has podcasts. So again, that's perfect for breaking your passive listening habits. Check the links in the description for more on how to get the most from transcripts and why you need them. Number 11 is Warm Regards. So this is a podcast about the climate crisis, hosted by Jacqueline Gill, who is a paleontologist, and Ramesh Lugani, who is a biologist. And their goal uh, is to humanise the climate crisis and uplift the voices of the people most effective, affected by it. So they have honest and real conversations with newsmakers, researchers, activists, policymakers and artists. So if you're interested in solving humanity's biggest challenge while also asking what it means to be human, then I think you'll love these conversations. So there you have it, 11 and some extras podcasts that are perfect for advanced English learners. So your next step, having watched this video, is to experiment with them. Try out one of the podcasts from the list that you like the sound of and see if you like it. See if it's at your level. If not, try another one. Once you've found one that suits you, then just listening to it is good, but it's not enough. You'll need to make your listening more active. So you can prepare yourself before you listen by reading the show notes, After the episode, you can leave a comment on the website of the podcast. And if you've got a friend or teacher who listens to it too, then you can chat to them about it. You can also challenge yourself to learn three to five new words or expressions in each podcast. Just pick the ones that you think will be useful to you and then try using them in your speech or writing afterwards. 
the possibilities for learning with podcasts are truly endless. So before you go, tell me in the comments, what are your favourite advanced English podcasts? And are there any podcasts from this list that you want to listen to? And as you're still here, please make sure you like this video, you subscribe, share it, leave a comment, do all the things. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon.